Right guys, welcome to a snowy Wisconsin. Snowed pretty good last night. I think we got like six and a half inches, something like that. Maybe not quite that much, maybe around five and a half. Um, but yeah, everything froze overnight and uh, pretty crappy weather. But now it's, it's heating up, sun's coming out. So it's actually turning out to be a pretty good day to work on this thing. Uh, this is episode eight. I can't believe we did eight episodes on this thing. When we first got it, I did not think this thing was gonna run. The engine was locked up. We ended up going through the entire machine. We got the engine unstuck, put some brand new oil in it, and uh, we fired it up for the first time, and then we took it for a ride, and now it goes through every gear. So we came a long way. Um, last video, I think we did the brakes. Um, the back brake works now perfectly, and we're just gonna do the front brake today. I think this is all clear, so we should be good here. Um, we, we got the master cylinder in the mail, and we got yeah, the little linkage right here for the shifter. So we're good to go there. Um, I'm still waiting on the seat. That should be coming this week though, for sure. Um, I actually got it from a subscriber who messaged me through Instagram and he actually had a seat that was in decent condition and he sold it for me for 75 bucks. So thanks again to him. He doesn't want his name showed it or anything, but um, thanks again. That was very helpful. Um, I couldn't find one on eBay that was in decent condition, all the seat covers were ripped and stuff. So uh, I think we got a good, pretty good one. So we'll see if it matches. If not, then who cares? I mean, it's a $200 machine, so it doesn't really matter. Um, what else do we have left to do on this thing? We gotta get the recoil straightened out right here. So I might take this apart today and see what's going on with this. Um, I might just cut the rope out of there and then put this back on. Uh, that starter is junk, that thing is locked up. And then the seat, as you can see, is just completely demolished. Um, I might take the foam off and then sell the, the plastic piece just to make up for some of the costs on this project, even though I think I've got like maybe a hundred bucks into it, so it's, it's not too bad. Also, we're going to deal with the, the grips on here today and the handlebar situation. I know a lot of people in the comments were like, get rid of those handlebars, blah, 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 blah. Um, and yeah, they're, they're super ugly. Um, I thought I'd leave them on there as long as possible just to make people mad in the comments, but no, nah, just kidding. It, it's, I mean, they're, they're off, obviously off of like a, you know, like a kid, like a girl's bike or something. Um, you can see where the streamers went right here probably. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like pinkish orange color. Um, so what we're going to do today is probably take off the handlebars, um, since we have to take off all this stuff anyway, and then just paint them up quick. And then we've got new grips as well. So. Everyone should be pleased in the comment section below um, since we're getting new grips and getting rid of these crappy handlebars. Um, we should make those look a lot better. I think what else do we have to do here today? Oh, we yeah, have the rims. So I got some gold paint for the rims. Also, my comments about my gloves ripping. I always use these, uh, these blue gloves because I hate getting gas and stuff in my hands. But I got some of these permanent ones. So what I'm gonna do is wear the, the blue gloves underneath and then wear these then my blue gloves won't rip. So I got some of those, those were like two bucks. Um, I got some rolling bar chassis paint for the handlebars. BHT, some more WD-40, which WD-40 should sponsor me at this point. I use it like every day. So hit me up if you guys want to sponsor. Uh, dot four for the front brake, master cylinder. Then we got some gold paint for the rims. So hopefully this will be the right color. I mean, if not, it's it's close enough, so. Now that I'm looking at it, it does not look like the right color, but whatever, it's close enough. Better than that, better than whatever that looks like. So we're trying to match up to that. Yeah, it'll be close enough. Um, also, let's take a look at the master cylinder. So these parts, as you guys know last time, I got from Cameron Dickey. He actually um, owns this UTV salvage yard. Um, they've got 53,000 parts and they offer free shipping and 30-day warranty on other parts. So if you guys want to check them out, their number is 402-371-7002. And you can visit their website and I'll leave all their link and stuff down below so you guys can go check them out. So I opened up the package, got some of these in there. Thanks for sending those. A couple stickers, cool. Nice packaging, let's see, nice pink packaging. So it looks like we've got the whole shifter mechanism, which is really nice. These things are tough to find. So, brand new lever as well. So that'll be sweet to have on there. Which I don't get how this thing works with the, 
the cover I have right now, but we'll have to figure that out. So that fits on there like that. And uh, yeah, these are nice and tight, so perfect. Um, and then we also have the master cylinder in here, which looks like it's in great condition. Ooh, and a solenoid, sweet. So we got the solenoid right here, and the master cylinder right here, which is in awesome condition. So that is sweet. So we can put that right on and bolt it right up. And then we've got a little brochure right here. As you guys can see. So if you guys want to go check out their information, link down below. Pretty cool. So yeah, let's get going on this thing. I think we're first going to do the handlebars. Um, so then we can put the grips on there, paint up the handlebars and then add the master cylinder to the handlebar. So let's start with that. All right, let's start with taking off these switches and these brakes. Just a couple um, screws right here. Then this cover pops right off, so that shouldn't be too bad. And then there's like four bolts underneath this cover. And then right here, just a couple couple screws right there, so not too bad. So let's start with that, taking those, those things off of there. So we got everything off the handlebars here. Now we're just going to take these four bolts out of here. All right, we got the crappy handlebars off now. And um, they look pretty crappy. So let's uh, sand these down and then paint these up, put some new grips on them. All right guys, so here are the new, the new grips right here. And then I found this guy in my parts bin. It's a moose racing um, handlebar pad. So that'll make it look a little bit better. So we're gonna paint the handlebars black and um, should look pretty decent with new grips and this thing. Let's try to heat up these grips and get those off of there and then we'll sand down the handlebars. One off, one more to go. All right, we got both grips off. Let's sand this thing down now.
Okay, we'll let that dry for a bit, then flip it over to the other side. While we're waiting for the paint to dry on the handlebars, we'll paint up the rims here quick. Um, as you can see, they're pretty rusty, so let's take some sandpaper go through those quick. Take some of this gold, see if that matches up with it. If you don't want to tape off your wheels, you can spray some WD-40 around here. That way when you go and paint, it won't stick to it. Voila, done. Doesn't look too bad. All right, time for the second side. All right, that one's done as well. All right, let's finish up painting these handlebars and then we'll put those grips on and see what those look like. All right, those are all painted up. Just gonna wait for them to dry and then we'll put the grips on and then we'll attach it back to the Warrior. See what that looks like. It should look pretty good with the new rims and everything. It looks pretty sharp now. All right, while we're waiting for everything to dry, let's figure out this recoil situation. Um, we're just gonna pull out this cord all the way and then try to cut it if we can. It looks like it's 
it looks like it was bound up right here. You can see where the the cord came through. So if we can get a knife in there and cut that, I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're gonna try to get a knife in there, cut that, and then we should be good. Screwdriver in there. I think we can pull that out. All right, that's a seven, seven sixteenths right here. So there's a spring in here that we've got to be careful of. So when we take this apart, we have to be really careful. All right, you can see the spring right in there, all recoiled up. Um, you do not want to get that spring to come off because that'll just unwind and it'll hit you right in the face. I've done that a couple times. It's not fun, but we'll get this cord out now. You can see that there was hardly any cord in there. So it must have been pretty broken already. All right, we got the cord out of there. Pretty big cord. Pretty big, big string in there. But uh, you can see where this thing broke. I mean, that's not good anymore, but we'll put it in there just for, uh, to keep everything together. All right, this is all back together. Um, looking pretty good. Um, it spins and everything. So we'll just put that back onto the bike, I guess. Yeah, and we'll see if the shifter fits over it. All right, so here's what we're dealing with in here. Um, I got the old one off right here, the old shifter. And uh, as you can see, the shift um, thing is right here on this one. The new one that I got is right up here. And this one actually won't work, This the shift lever. Um, because that ball bearing thing is right up there. So we're going to have to take off this one and then see that's the old one. We can just swap it out and it should work perfectly. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so I got the new lever on here. Um, this is the old one and I made this one work. What I did was tighten up these bolts down here on this bracket. These bolts are here. And I made this shorter and uh, apparently it works. Um, it goes up and down, it shifts up and down, but we need to still move this lever out so it doesn't hit this. So I don't know why that's not working, but we're not gonna be able to put this on for sure because this is so close to that already. So let's bend that out and finish putting this guy on over here as well. Um, yeah, it's just really interesting how that doesn't fit. And we also need to make a couple more washers because as you can see, the thickness of this is a lot more than this one. So let's do that and uh, see what happens here. All right, so we got the spacers in here. It's pretty tight in there, it's not gonna go anywhere. And we can shift it up and down like this. So it, it does work, shift down, shift up. Um, and I bent out the lever a little bit more so that we have a little bit more freedom of play right here. So I think we're good to go here. Um, get the, the handlebars are all dry. So let's start working on these and putting this thing back together. All right guys, the handlebars are all dry. Um, they're good enough, good enough to go. All right, so let's get the handlebars back on the quad here.
All right, got these bolted down. Not gonna go anywhere. All right, so let's start putting this stuff back on and then we'll get the grips on after that so we know where to put the grips. All right, that's back on. You can see a little paint coming off right here. That's not gonna matter, because we're gonna put the grips on over here. Hopefully these fit on there. And um, what we're gonna do is take some soapy water, um, spray some in here, and then shove these guys on there. These look like they're the same size here. Let's see here. Yeah, that should grip up nice, I would think. So we might need a little black tape on there, but we should be good. Got a little bit of black tape, we're gonna put right on the handlebar so the grip fits. All right, we got that taped up over here. Should be good to go. We'll get some hot soapy water and we'll put these grips on. All right guys, take some of the soapy water, spray it right down here. Get it nice and drenched and spray the handlebar. Just quickly. All right, that one's on, wasn't too bad. I always put the letters up like that, O-U-R-Y, and then you can see the label. I don't know if that's up or not, but that's what I'm gonna do. All right, then we can go on to the next side, grab the grip, some soapy water, go over here. This one's gonna be a little bit more challenging because we've got the tape on there, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't be too bad. Braid the grip. And you use water because it, it evaporates, so all this soapy water will evaporate and then the grip will stick really nice to, to the handlebars. So grip that, spray that stuff. All right, that grip slid right on, which was pretty good. Again, the letters are facing up. I think we're good to go right there. All right, now we just let those dry. And then I figured we were gonna put these on. We were gonna put this on. So we'll put this right here, and then this can go right there. Perfect. I didn't think we were going to be able to, I didn't think we were going to be able to use it. But we should be good now. So we got this. Let's get back in. We'll grab the moose racing. All right, that looks really good now. Check that out. All good to go. 
All right, now we're gonna put the master cylinder on. We got the brake lines all cleared out, so we should be good to go there. Pop it right on here, and uh, let's take a quick look at it. All right. Even comes with that. Cool. All right, let's try to put this guy on. All right, there's a little bit of crap in here, so we'll clean that out, and then we should be good to go. That bolted right on, so that's perfect. You can hear it working in there, so let's clean it out, and then put some fluid on there, connect the brake line, and we'll be good to go. All right, let's use some DOT4 brake fluid and pour some down there. All right guys, a little update. So the brake is now working perfectly. Got it all bled. I didn't show it in the video because it was taking forever. The lines down here were all plugged up. I had to take a wire and go through the entire line. Um, so I had to take these off and these off, take a wire and go all the way up through the line with it. And uh, spray WD-40 down there, degreaser down there, and it still wasn't freeing up. And uh, it was just taking forever, but I finally got it. Got it all bled. It's working great now. It doesn't move. So we're good to go. I noticed the engine is just kind of rattling in there. So we're gonna tighten the engine down here quick and then we're gonna take it for a ride. Um, the seat is coming next week or maybe sometime this week, we have to see. But I think we're pretty much done with the, with the Warrior at this point. The rims got painted up, those are looking pretty good. Sun's kind of going down a little bit. But you can see like Looks pretty good. I took it for a quick ride just to see if the brakes would work. And they work pretty good. Um, other than that, I think we're pretty much done. Let's tighten up these engine mounts and uh, take this thing for a GoPro ride. All right, time for a ride. Finally got that thing going. Um, I tightened up the engine mounts and they were really loose before. So I'm glad we tightened those down. Also, I, for some reason, can't get it into neutral anymore, so that kind of sucks. I don't know why that would be, um, but we'll rip it around the snow over here. It snowed quite a bit last night, so it should be pretty fun to rip it around over here.
sucks not having four wheel drive. Can't really go anywhere. And for some reason I can't shift back up. So that's not good. What the heck is going on with this thing? We'll pick it for a nice and easy ride. Then I'm going to have to adjust the, the shifter or something. Because I don't know what's going on with it. We just can't get this thing perfect. It's taking forever. But yeah, uh, it's getting dark. Um, this thing needs some fine tuning for sure. We got the brakes working today. That was good. Oh, crap. This thing just is getting stuck. I don't know what the heck is up with this thing. through here does not sound very good Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> not sounding too good. It's getting hot too. Huh. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go for a little nighttime ride since we've got lights on this thing. Um just worked on this shifter for like the past hour to get this thing going. And now the neutral neutral works again, so that's good. Start her up, turn the gas on, choker. Well, it's probably warm, so we probably don't even need the choke. Turn the lights on here. I think we're good to go. by the car here.
exciting. All right guys, so the ride didn't go as planned. Uh, the shifter mechanism obviously needs some work. Um, I might put the, the old one back on and then just use the, the little attachment. I should have done that in the first place knowing that this was the wrong shifter. Uh, that's totally my fault. And uh, it's leaking some oil out of the case right over here where these bolts go into. So we're going to have to fix that. Yeah, that's not good. So, got a couple things to fix here. Um, otherwise, electric starts working great. All that stuff is working good. Um, the brakes work great. Front brake works awesome. Back brake works great. The lights work. So, all that stuff is really good. It's just the shifter, pretty much. And it's still making that, that grinding noise, and it's still revving up pretty high. So... I think next video we'll be able to rip it pretty good, but uh, I just need to fix that shifter and then we'll be good. It's getting dark here and uh, it'll be the next day pretty soon here. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we made some more progress today on it. We're going to have the seat here and the whole thing will be coming together. So stay tuned. Uh, next video we're going to send it. And uh, yeah, so my Instagram is 2 underscore vintage underscore. If you guys want to go follow behind the scenes. And um, I think that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. And until next time, we are out. Oh.